Victoria 3, the only game in which you can have two different police stations, but not a single police officer. Where are they? I just wanna ask them a couple of questions, like what happens to the people who speak against the government? I don't see them anywhere. Listen, I just think it's morally wrong of me to send the children to the mines, but not those dirty bastards who speak against the government, which forces me to play as Japan. I watched Shogun, and I'm perfectly aware of what happens to the people who speak against the government. And there he is, the man himself the shogun ruling with the help of the shogunate and the samurai now i know what you're thinking these stupid backwards thinking savage ass parasites exist only to stop us from our rapid industrialization and modernization but please there's no need for such insults they're just misunderstood they can be a great help just please look deep inside your heart and give them a chance i mean look at that we have 12 percent chance for dedicated police force let us try that okay well they didn't like the dedicated police force and i know you can see in the brand new ui that my markets are lacking iron and tools now that's not because i'm bad at the game or anything i'm simply inflating their price up so i can siphon government funds into the mines and tool workshops which is just classic embezzlement i know what i'm doing in this game observe i shall now invite women into the mines i mean it's where their kids work they might as well come along oh come on you're delaying my progress shogunate people you stinking ass parasites i'll destroy you i will first remove you from the bureaucracy and then i shall create a massive naval fleet of zero ships so i can hire you and ritualistically spit in your face until you get angry enough to start a revolution which you can't win because I destroyed all the barracks everywhere else except for the capital. And yes, I watched that in a YouTube video once. Haha, <laughs> a revolution with zero battalions. Am I shooting at unarmed protesters at this point? Take that, as parasites. Ah, and we have restored the empire, of course. Planned. That's why we're going to boost the intelligent people. We all know what we're doing in this government. Trust me. You don't want to question the emperor. And now the emperor has the power to appoint the bureaucrats in order to make sure that the peasants serve the emperor and not those miserable ass parasites we shall abolish serfdom. The emperor demands it. Oh, what is this? You dare defy the emperor? Also, how are you still alive? It doesn't matter. None may challenge the emperor because once again I moved the army to the new capital. Honestly, I thought I was being paranoid. But like Stalin used to say, I'm not paranoid. Shoot them. All right, there's almost none of you left. Now sit down and be quiet. Wow, I don't even know what to say. How did you guys multiply so quickly? Listen here, Mr. Emperor Man. I feel like you're not the real emperor. You're just an imposter. And there you have it. We have the real emperor on the throne now. A two-year-old child for the two-year-old emperor. We have successfully abolished serfdom. The emperor is incredible and he's only two years old. I can't wait until he grows up. Now with the real emperor, we can definitely push. The dedicated police force. Wow, not even a single setback. Now we're going to reshuffle the government a little bit in order to make sure that the peasants are really able to work for the two-year-old emperor. Incredible. There's absolutely nothing the emperor can't do. So let us try to introduce women again. Surely that won't be a challenge for the might of the two-year-old emperor. Oh, what is this, Aster? You're gonna shank me or something? You miserable savages. That was a mistranslation, I think. Of course, we accept opening the markets. That sounds like a great idea. In fact, I'm going to try it right now by importing some cow poop i mean i was fixing the cow poop problem anyway but you know let's see what that market thing can do again with these guys can you stop oh the peasants are taking charge and to think that i went out of my way to open the market so i can buy you cow poop this is how you repay me you ungrateful bastards whoa 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 stupid peasants leave the boats alone they don't belong to you they belong to the emperor the women are now part of the workforce which means the men are free to join the professional army where they will get on board our mighty fleet and conquer new lands for the might and glory of our two-year-old emperor serve the emperor hawaii or i'll put you in the pot and of course there's a bit larger islands as well so give up el salvador your piece of this island belongs to the emperor now prepare to be civilized stupid savages oh what is this you needed to service the railway it's pronounced emperor you stupid savages learn proper japanese or i'll put you in the pot you defy the emperor you stupid costa ricans now observe our Mighty war strategies. Yeah. Planned.
Good job, boys! It's time for you to come back home! Of course! Finally, our professional army shall be the main fist of the two-year-old emperor! And of course, now we shall become a technocracy in order to make sure that only the most capable of people have the honor to serve our mighty two-year-old emperor! Oh, come on, guys! Are you stupid? I'll shoot you! Again! I don't care! Okay, New Granada, we have a new policy for this island we've discovered! You shall pay your taxes to the emperor or we put you in the pot! We call it the pot doctrine. Congratulations New Granada, you shall now pay taxes. To me and the emperor of course. The revolution changed, it's no longer the stupid people wanting to stay in charge, it's now about the smart people who wants us to be less racist. I'll think about it. And we've discovered the railroad, trains and everything, woo! No one has ever seen that kind of technology before, we are surely to lead the world now. Reforms at gunpoint, I have all the guns though. Uh, anyway, you smart people are doing a good job with the railways and stuff. I agree, we're going to be slightly less racist. All right, now the capable people are in charge and we have a brand new cool flag, which means it's time to fix the budget. I need the money. Budget fixed. Now to spend the money by organizing a secret police. Have you seen the revolution frequencies around here? They're crazy. But that's okay. With this organization, we know exactly who to put in the pot. Pay up, stupid barbarians. The emperor demands your tax money. They back down. Wow, these barbarians learn quick. All right, secret police engaged. Now, to teach the kids all about the pot and why they should pay their taxes. Oh, look at that, we're also getting extra assimilation points. Wow, who knew that public schools can be so cool? And here it is, the best way to fix the budget. That's right, increasing the taxes of your subjects, of course. Oh, what is this? You're calling some random savage friends? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where they are on the map. So, uh, did your friends arrive? I, I can't tell. You savages all look the same to me. There you go, budget fixed. As for your friends, they can go home. And the trade policies are done. Since we are slightly less racist than we used to be, let's open up the borders a little bit. Now, Venezuela, time for you to pay your taxes to the emperor. Oh, you're calling your friends? Well, let's see what they've got. Jesus Christ, they've got a lot. Yeesh. Okay, I give up. The borders are slightly open and now here comes the greatest philosophical question. Should we be less racist or more racist? I don't know, but in the spirit of technocracy, I say let them fight. First, we're going to try one and then the other and see who wins. Okay, Guatemala, pay your taxes. That was a smart choice. And now you lost something something. Pay your taxes as well. As you can see, less racism didn't work. So we're gonna have to try more racism. We have to move one way or another. Very close. But no, we won't be more racist after all. Now the pot strategy works. I feel like we should expand it to the other savages around us. Like, for example, Oman. Good job, Oman. Now, I declare all these stupid desert savages property of the mighty two-year-old Japanese emperor. What do you guys say? You agree? And you agree. You don't? Get in the pot then. And you don't. That's okay. The pot is still hot. Now, we finally have the know-how to escape this political deadlock. Should we be more or less racist? Let's leave it to the people to decide. Oh, what are these stupid savages doing on my island? Wait a minute. I'll help you, France people. But you have to admit that the emperor controls a mighty the empire from the large eastern island to the east all the way to the desert savages to the west and this is a perfect opportunity for the emperor to have his vengeance against these austrian hungarian people decide on a name already jesus christ Wow, these French savages are so bad at this war thing. Luckily, the Emperor's finest are here to help. Oh no, we're getting invaded in the home islands. Luckily, our home guard shall defend the Emperor from these savages until we navally invade them. Haha. <laughs> hmm, maybe, maybe we won't. But we are dragging like a hundred divisions away from the front, which will be enough for the French to... No, no, it's not gonna be. Um, capitulated? Oh, come on, you French savages. This insult to the emperor won't go unnoticed. Come on, French savages. Admit it. The emperor is great and amazing. He's two years old and a major power. Admit it. Or else. Oh, what is this, France? You're calling some savages to help you out? Well, in that case, I shall also call upon the United Savage Animals to help me out. Oh, what is this, savage friends? You want to change the regime in the French Senegal? Okay. What a noble cause. I suppose. More savages? 
Guys, I think we're gonna need a second pot. The home islands are under attack, good thing we can defend for literally ever, so I'm not worried. And you have successfully occupied the French homelands, haha, <laughs> surrender front. What? That's not their homeland? Yeah, I, I guess I can see that. Give me a moment. Finally, the home island of the French people belongs to the Emperor. Surrender, France. That's not it either. Okay, I got it. While the Americans are navally invading their colonies, I shall invade their homeland. Haha, <laughs> surrender, France. You've no chance. A revolution, the favorite Japanese pastime. France is in default. Wow, such financial irresponsibility. In the time of war, they're paying war reparations to someone else. That's just insane. The USA is in default, that doesn't look good. Capitulated, I guess we have to rely on the might of the Emperor. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, we're not even close, but as you know, the French savages have no idea how to manage their finances. So they should surrender at some point. A couple of months in and the French are ready to surrender. The only thing stopping us now is these Russian people, but our mighty scientists have discovered the homeland of the Russian people. Incredible scientific achievement. I know. There you go, we've conquered the Russian homeland. France is in default, again. Surrender, haha, <laughs> it only took us bankrupting them twice. Okay, Russians, you're free to go, for now. What is this, USA? You need help? I mean, I guess it's the honorable thing to do. Wow, that's a weird flag. What are you even guys fighting for? Free trade and technocracy. That's a weird reason to fight, but okay. And even more savages have arrived to help us. Nice. I guess you can say savage together strong. Speaking of together strong, elections. Finally, out of the ashes of the American Civil War, we have a democracy. The emperor rules it. The future of our nation will be decided by the unwashed, uneducated, politically non-aligned masses. What could go wrong? And the agrarian party is the victor. Nice. Finally, we can fix our nation by closing the borders to these stinking immigrants. They always come in here, steal our jobs, do our drugs, and take our women. Unacceptable. The ACR is destroyed, and now we can focus on more important things, like subjugating the rest of the desert savages. Let's make one thing clear. Colonies are bad. We don't want any colonies. There you go. Legally, we are not allowed to colonies. Do you hear that? Fancy golden hat man? This is not colonization. We shall merely exploit your country for our own benefit. It's not the same thing, legally speaking. A new election cycle and the results are almost the same. All right, I guess we can reshuffle the government a bit. We are going to reform the military, allowing every peasant to be conscripted so we can defend our very closed borders more effectively. Ecuador, you haven't been paying your rent. Cough up the cash. Are we gonna call your friends in? All right then, I'm gonna to call the USA. They owe me one. Austria is hungry? Now that looks like a fight. Well, we're winning one of it and losing the other. If we can capitulate Ecuador, that will be an easy win. I said Ecuador, United States. This sucks. I don't think I can do this alone. And the military reforms are through, which, wait a minute, uh-oh, I, I think we shouldn't have done that in the middle of a conflict. In my defense, the government is led by a bunch of peasants who don't know any better. Definitely not my fault. Oh, what a lucky break. The Austrians are going back home to beat up the Pope. This is the opportunity we've been looking for to capitulate Ecuador once and for all. Oh, the Austrians are coming back already? What about the Pope? Oh, never mind. Oh, we're losing pretty bad. Peru surrendered. All right, that's a plus, I guess. Ecuador surrenders. Nice. Okay, Brazil, you can have this piece of my puppet. I don't care. Another election cycle. We already know who's going to win. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? Fake democracy? Guys, the elections are not rigged. Promise. And the results are in. I am shocked. I could possibly predict such outcome. The elections are very much real and all the other parties can now leave the government. As is tradition in the real democracies, there shall be only one party. All right, we're now going to have subsidized wages. That's right, the government shall give money to the people. I mean, I will have to increase the taxes so I can give the money back to the people, but it's better, trust me. All right, random savages whose name I cannot pronounce, give me your tax money. I need to give them to the people. Well, my people. Listen, it's 1894 and we should probably try to industrialize a little bit. Okay, what is this? My puppet is trying to annex you and you're offering me to lower the autonomy of my puppet, which I can do for free if I help you survive. That's insane. That's like a bully asking me to help him bully my child and they'll give me his lunch money. So I'm just going to do the opposite, help my puppet annex you and then reduce their autonomy for free. All right, so we've decided 
it, we're not going to industrialize just yet. It's too soon. Another election cycle. Oh my god, who's going to win? I have no idea. Incredible results. I would have never expected that. Now let's reshuffle the government a bit and try elected bureaucrats. Why not? Finally, we are recognized as a great power. I think it's because we are the second largest producers of fine arts. Yes. And of course, the Americans are loving it. I mean, you can see I have a very few trade partners, so I'm not even sure if we need heavy industry. A conflict between Mexico and the US and Russia's in it too? I would like to have a piece of that legendary, mysterious, never seen before Russian land, if it exists. As far as I understand, this Russian land is supposed to be here somewhere. I, I'm not sure. I'm not very good with a map. We have elected bureaucrats. Now let us try that industrialization thing again. Oh, we have successfully found the source of the Nile. Nice. I never win those. My explorers usually disappear mysteriously in the African wasteland. So that's a first. Mexico has capitulated. The Russians agree. I can have a piece of that wilderness. Thanks. Oh, never mind. There's like gold here. Holy smoke. Why didn't they build a mine? That's insane. We can now industrialize right on time. I think we should give less racism another chance. I mean, it's 1899. Why not? The Communist Party. Oh, no, 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 no. Stupid peasants, what are you doing? Resist the urge to vote for the Communists. Are you insane? This is danger to our two-year-old emperor and the empire. Well, you can't say I didn't try. Really guys? A revolution? I mean, to be honest at this point, it's your best chance. Now come on peasants, resist the urge to vote communism. Now for fuck's sakes. Well, the people voted for a revolution for the glory and safety of the mighty two-year-old emperor. No? Okay. I guess we can try less racism again. And now we are led by Chairman Taruhito and not by a two-year-old child. To be honest, he was two years old for like decades. That was completely unnatural. And we shall no longer boil people alive in a pot in the name of that emperor. We shall boil people alive in a pot in the name of the people. And of course, our new chairman is very honorable engineer, an explorer who has a psychological affliction or how he likes to put it, a communist. Finally, we have found the political courage to be less racist. Another victory for the communist party. Nice. And of course, since we no longer discriminate based on ethnicity that much, our mighty chairman has decided that we shall now discriminate based off of religion all religions. The French are helping Mexico to rebel against their united savage American masters. We shall help you, savage friends. What are friends for? Now we can freely share the discrimination amongst our citizens equally. And of course, we should also distribute the ownership of the factories also equally. The French are trying a naval invasion? Are they actually the ones who will manage to take over Japan proper? No, of course not. Why would you even suggest such a thing? Are you working for the French? Get in the pot. And Mexico is annexed. All right, now we just have to deal with the French. Oh, they surrendered. That was quick. And of course, now we, the Japanese, Japanese are the rightful rulers of Corsica, of course, rightful Japanese clay. And the American and British offer an alliance, wow, they're allied to each other and now I'm invited into their club. Are we going to be the allies? The industry is collectivized, now let us collectivize the agriculture as well. Ah man, don't you hate it when there's a world war brewing and both sides hate your guts so you have to just sit there and watch like a cuck? This sucks. And the agriculture is collectivized. Let us pass some workers' rights. Why not? The not great war is over and France has decided to expand into Eastern Europe. Good choice, France. Nothing bad happens to the people who expand in Eastern Europe. The workers are protected. And another election cycle. And an undisputed victory for the communists. Again. Now we're going to reshuffle the government a bit so we can get a 4% chance to help shape a better future for their children. I mean, I know it's just 4%, but for the kids, I I'm going to take it. Anarchy. The kids demand it. That was surprisingly easy. The kids are strong in this country. I've been looking around the other countries and I've noticed that they all have a bunch of infamy 
and I'm just sitting here with one. Oh my god, what if the kids think I'm lame? They'll overthrow the government in an instant. I can't afford something like that. War it is then. Let us up that infamy a bit. Oh really China? You're calling in your Russian friends? Alright then, I have friends of my own. Come on Britain, join me. Oh, you want to take one of my puppets? Always looking for profits I see. Classic Britain. And what about you America? You join because you are a real friend? Thank you. Now we don't really need too much legal reforms. However, I can't can't stand by this police thing. Do we live in an anarchy or what? And a great war has begun and Egypt is here too. They decided to join? I don't think that was a wise decision. But who am I to judge? Now as you can see, in the heat of the war, we have managed to climb to the number 5 spot pretty much because of my massive military industrial complex. I kinda stopped building art galleries and actually industrialized. Oh, there goes Egypt. Good job, Egypt. You tried. And of course, the Japanese army is also the second largest in the world. I mean, it's pretty expensive to keep this up. But we're number 5. That's what really counts. And of course, I'm the number 1 producer of ammunition and artillery. Get out of here, China. You're no match for the power of the allies and finally the police is banned as it should be literally years later i'm starting to capitulate my armies have been walking in this russian wilderness for years and i can't even find any russian people there's just bears and rivers and stuff i'm afraid we're going to have to be satisfied with a chunk of the russian wilderness oh never mind there's gold here is russia made out of gold is that the thing i'm missing and of course we have beijing which doesn't have gold on it but it has like 15 million people talk about a population spike and of course we're still the owners of central america except for honduras i mean it's honduras and we still own the middle east except for najet which we had to give to the british and i gave oman their independence because they were constantly having a revolution and i just got tired of it i mean they're having a revolution now against some random japanese man of course the middle east everybody we fixed it we have a couple of not colonies in here as well like they're not colonies promise we still own corsica and germany never formed i mean we have scandinavia also i just noticed the americans still have slavery haven't seen that one before of course we are still selling a lot of fine art to the americans but to be honest selling them dynamite is more profitable i guess the anarcho-socialist anime doesn't sell that well and this is the laws we ended up with a perfect mix between anarchy and communism we have no police so there's anarchy on the streets but we have a secret police so we have communism in secret and yes i know the flag didn't change right away that's because the guy in charge of changing the flags got lost in the anarchy but don't worry we boiled him in a pot alive secretly though and this is the final ranking until next time